not sure that man is friend or foe. Yeah, it's a plank. You know, I've always thought that wood is a key ingredient to starting any fire. A bucket of nails is always helpful when you want it. That man over there could be Mantis. Uh, why does this have to be so heavy? Looks like I'll need five planks, a hammer, and some nails if I'm going to repair this ladder. Now I could use it. Someone's watching me, and it's making me feel incredibly uneasy. Nice. Part of the bridge has collapsed, and I shouldn't even think about it. Sign says the water's toxic, but how dangerous could it be? <laughs> has there ever been a bigger idiot than you? Well, this'll come in handy. It's an Ultra Pro 900 lock. I'll need to find the key before I can open this, and it's probably in the house. <sighs> Maybe try something else. Well, yeah, that'll work. It's a Mike and I camera candy comic, Cinnamon Twist. Now yeah, I fixed it, and it appears to be some sort of ladder. Card could be used to get in the front door. I'm a Morlock hunter. Hunter. Let's go get those bastards. Liar! Liar! You know, you seem like you could use a great big hug. Oh! Friend! Slay! Killer! Slade? Are you talking Big Jim Slade? Yeah! Tell you what, I'm gonna come back later with some hot cocoa and an elephant tranquilizer. Help me! Slay! Die! Die! <sighs> Kids, they never shut the door when they go out to play. Uh, that must be Mantis, and my guess is Margaret Leonard left some medication to control his affliction somewhere in the swamp house. Yep, garden shears are perfect for trimming grass, bushes, or stubborn branches. I wonder if there's a way to get these valerian flowers to grow quickly. Hey, not even Sam Spade had a spade like this. Looks like Margaret tried to bury her mistakes. What's she trying to do out here? Ah, oh, the XBR 1000 greenhouse light. It sure grows plants fast, but the FDA banned them because of excess radiation. Nice chest. Mike and I camera. Sucker's game. 
I never care for pliers. Got lots of bad dental memories. And I am yeah, nothing like a big old desk to rifle through. Got it. Oh man, the desk in my office is way bigger than this one. cabinet lock is broken, so I'll need to find another way to open it. Hmm, nothing special. Well, another matchbook to add to my collection. Very handy when you're venturing into public bathrooms. Yeah, there's more to this world than meets the eye. The zipper on this cushion's stuck. I'll need something to help me open it. safe key. The cabinet lock is broken, so I'll need to find another way to open it. The picture looks similar to the one downstairs, except the one downstairs had three numbers on it. What's a pod? for planting seeds. Ding, 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 ding. Well, I know tongs are great for pulling my chestnuts out of the fire. This key belongs to an Ultra Pro 900 lock. Crap alarm, I've always wanted one of these. They're good for reaching items just out of my grasp or in a dangerous situation. Oh, I love sticky notes and I just used my last one. Wait, something's written on this one. There's a vidphone message code on here. I could use this on a vidphone to retrieve messages. It's an empty vial. Hey, 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 don't let anyone talk down. Whoa, that's one old vid phone. It's got a message on. First message. Margaret, we followed your instructions and combined the valerian flower petals with alcohol in a vial, placed it in the chemical mixer, then administered the serum to the subjects via syringe. However, this only momentarily suppressed rage in the Morlocks. There needs to be a more permanent solution. There are no more messages. Oh, someone's writing their letter to Santa early this year. The Mike and I camera candy comic, Double Fudge Indemnity. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. I know what you're thinking, and that's not a good idea. Oh, it's C4 chewing gum. This stuff packs quite a wallop, but oh, it is grape. I love grape flavor. Oh, 
second thought, I better find another use for this. Is this? It is. It's actual moonshine. Something big just moved, and there's smoke coming out from behind the panel. I need to unscrew that cog from the wall before I can repair it. I gotta admit, sometimes when you play God, things turn out okay. In this state, the cog is... I'm sure Thor's big hammer here could straighten a few things out. The cog's fixed and ready to be put back. Security card. card reader and I'll need the electricity to be on for it to work. Yeah, Margaret made sure this place was soundproof. I've assembled the spirit radio. Tonight will be my first attempt to contact my husband. The radio is working. I hear voices that are incoherent, uh, eerie, and uh, tantalizing. There must be some way to amplify the power. <sighs> my last attempt was a near disaster, similar to what happened to Tesla back in 1899. The frequency caused a vibration that increased until I, oh, I thought the house would split in two. I had to smash the radio. Now I have to start all over. I don't want to get my hopes too high, but I believe I've made contact. I brought the radio into the lab, and I swear that being close to Charles's cryo chamber has intensified the signal. I'm sure it's his voice, but I can't understand what he's saying. I've recorded hours of the voice and had experts analyze the audio from every angle. We've deciphered three words. Void, return, immortal. 
I've reached an impasse. I wonder if the Tesla egg, could it amplify the radio's power? It's been weeks since I've heard Charles's voice on the spirit radio. I wonder if the Gideon parasites have moved ahead without me and brought him back to life. It's been years since I made an entry in this video journal. Charles is dead and lost to me forever. And uh, I will die soon. The translator lives, and one way or another, whoever sees this, Mantis, Mason, it's up to you to stop the translator. Stopping the translator isn't going to be easy, and the Tesla egg and spirit radio seem to be the keys. Somehow, the information Margaret Leonard took to the grave needs to be uncovered. Is that even possible? I have an eerie feeling it is. The glass is shattered. Something trying to get in or out? Looks like something unethical happened in here. There's blood all over the floor. It doesn't look fresh, but it's troubling. Now, there's something you don't typically see in a residential home. That's the Interocitor IQ measurement system. I should try this baby out and see what a genius I am. Uh, don't text. You may not like what you find. Dr. Zaius was right. A man like you is inferior to the simian in every way. This machine monitors electrical activity in your heart. There's more books in here than in my county library. Curse government spending cut. Well, hell, that ought to do it. This medicine should control Manus' pain. Waited near the front door, ready for him to show up, but uh, not as ready as I should have been. Sorry, sorry, I can't control it. Tell you what, give me the Tesla egg, we'll call it even. You're the one that prays, aren't you? Yes, I am Mantis. Praying Mantis, like the bug. That was Margaret's call, so she did send me. Hmm, it just seems strange she took such a risk coming to see you, so she could give you the injection. How do you know about that? Because I was there. And she wanted you to forget everything you had done. <sighs> yeah, well, she pretty much accomplished that. Yeah. And here you are. She seems kind of strange. Strange? You know what I find strange? I saw a video of Margaret torturing you. She wasn't torturing me. She had been helping me for a very long time. But you're a Morlock. She made you this way. You can't blame her. I chose this path. I volunteer to take one of the greatest technological leaps of all time, crowd technology. I was one of the founding members of the Tesla Legacy Society. Along with others, I allowed myself to die and be brought back. We dreamed of waking to a world reborn. We found ourselves worse off than before. And worst of all, we no longer were the people we had been. The cryo sleep with unforeseen complications. Well, at least cryogenics is now partially covered under major medical. <laughs> Only a few of us escaped the physical deformities from the freeze. Worse is what it did to our minds. It drove us to madness. So how come the Tesla Society hasn't taken care of you guys? Certainly the burden shouldn't just fall on Margaret. The Tesla Legacy Society and its creations are no more. 
So what happened? I mean, I know a little of your history since Charles Johansson joined you. Johansson. I believed in him once. He was our martyr. We carried his work to the foot of his holy prayer chamber. We knew that one day he would return and to take us to this glorious future. And he did return. Yeah, he was now the translator. He was delusional only as the greatest zealots are. He believed he knew the will of Tesla. He was going to create a gateway, a celestial conduit between heaven and earth. He called it the immortal coil. Gotcha. He was determined to build it at any cost. And in the end, we banished him from the society. But he didn't stay banished. Months later, he returned with a small group of men led by the one known as Slade. They attacked the facility, sparing no one. I saw Slade himself put a gun to my wife's head while she begged for her life. And he pulled the trigger. was over they removed every trace of the Tesla legacy society his files his equipment there was only one thing left behind and that was a key bit of information the spirit radio frequencies they were stored in the clouds that Charles never knew about and these were important it may be the only way to stop Charles from activating the immortal coil. And that would be bad? It's very bad. As a split of the planet and too bad. I'll tell you where to find the egg. But I need you to find those frequencies first. Before I head off to the Tesla Legacy Society, I get a call from Thompson Ald inviting me over to his house. Sounds like he's ready to talk. Any luck locating the spirit radio? I've got some leads, but it all seems to tie to something called the Immortal Coil. I found something that you might find interesting. They did some experiments with interfacing brain circuitry. You might have been one of the first test subjects. I'm sorry. Memories are simply electronic impulses. And we are the sum of our memories. Now, on a cellular level, you're a completely different person than you were seven years ago. But your essence is exactly the same as it was that night with Chelsea outside of the Golden Pagoda. How do you know about Chelsea? Well, first, and you may already know this, Chelsea is Margaret Leonard's daughter. Now, Margaret had lost her husband, and she was overwhelmed. So she put Chelsea in the care of a mutant family, the Bandos, and then tried to forget that she'd ever had a child. That's pretty cold. Well, it was a decision that she's regretted for decades. And years later, when she found Chelsea living at the Ritz, she rented a room so she could be close, but never revealed her true identity. Yeah, and that's why we got abducted. Now, Margaret was being funded by Gideon Enterprises, and an opportunistic manager named Dalton Fisk found out that Margaret's husband had stolen some very important documents. The Tesla cash. Dalton tried to force Margaret into reanimating Charles, but she refused and then disappeared. But then Dalton discovered that she had a daughter, and he came after her. Now this much I can tell you. She's alive and well and living a new life. But I hope you'll understand that even if I could tell you more, I wouldn't. Margaret was so frightened for Chelsea she gave her away. I mean, if I have to, I will too, because I never want to put Chelsea's life in danger. I'm glad that you see it that way. It's really for the best. And now you have your own new life to lead. Which reminds me, I meant to get you the canister. Ah, uh, yeah, except I can't remember my new life. Well, maybe that's not such a bad thing. But if you decide to use the spirit radio to try to get answers, you'll need help. Wait here. This is where I come in. How about we go get that cryo chamber with old Maggie's head in it? We can't let him have it. Uh, hold on, partner there. No need to uh, get violent or anything. Let's just see if we can work this out, okay? 
Oh, up there, is it? You hurt pretty bad. We've got to get you to the hospital. No, you have to stop him. If they get inside her head, it will undo everything that Mason was fighting for. Look, I know what they're after, and I think I can beat them to it. It's the Tesla egg, so let's just get you out of here. Go! Go! You're coming with me. I couldn't shake the look of fear I saw in Al's eyes as he was lying in a pool of his own blood. Slade had blown a hole through the little man without even a second thought. Could I really have been partners with someone like that? Maybe I did change over the last seven years, but if I did, it has to be possible to change back. I need a weapon I can use against these psychopaths. I knew my only hope was somewhere at the Tesla Institute. Slade's trumped me at every corner, but the ace may be at Tesla. Thank you.